You already know who it is. It's your boy. How's it going? How are you doing? How's your uncle? Oh no, not again. That's right, I'm back at it once again, and today it's a big one. The story of Tracy Beaker. So, for those of you that don't know, the story of Tracy Beaker was a TV show that ran on the CBBC between 2002 and 2006. The show, based on a book series, was about a young girl living in a foster home and all the shenanigans that her and the other residents got up to. Whenever people my age from the UK talk about TV shows they watched when they grew up, Tracy Beaker is always mentioned without fail. But, confession time? I've never actually seen it before. <laughs> I'm so sorry, please don't hurt me. So, let's watch the first episode and see what it was all about. Really didn't need that kind of personal attack this early on. No, our main character, Tracy, is actually talking to her ex foster parents who've sent her back because. Well, wouldn't you? And I never want to see you ever again! Tracy! Peter, if I'm not back in half an hour, I'll call International Rescue. Mike, someone's put their stuff in my room. Look, uh, Tracy. This is my room! No, Tracy Beaker was coming back. It's got the round window. People pay extra for that, you know. Yeah, they usually like to see out of it, though. I'm difficult and I've got behavioural problems. Oh, go on, we'd have a laugh. Okay, so the show will occasionally use these little animated segments. It looks like it's replicating the book's illustration style, and honestly, is actually a pretty good idea. What? You thought I was going to say something mean? Turn it into a cruel joke? I can't always be a dick. I have to keep you on your toes. <laughs> look out for you. All right, that took 34 seconds for me to ruin it. A new record. Next, we're introduced to Tracy's ex-best friend, Louise, and her new best friend, Justine, who is impressively only the second most moody character on this show. Aren't you gonna go see Tracy? She hasn't spoken to me since the day she left. Can't see why she wanna do it now. Sorry, do you expect this poor three-year-old girl to have a mobile phone to call you on in 2002? She was your best friend. She's not anymore. Hello. Tracy's upstairs. Can I say hello? Why does everyone keep on going on about Tracy? Someone should tell her the name of this show. Louise! My dad's coming to take me out for tea. Come and help me choose what to wear. What the fuck was that? Tracy, this is Justine. Thought you said you were leaving forever. Ted and Julie only wanted me as a slave. This is my room now. Oh no! My clock! Her dad gave her that! Put the hands back on. What am I gonna tell him when he turns up? Just... Well, all I know is, when I one day leave my daughter at a foster home and periodically visit her, the first thing I'm going to do is check that her alarm clock is in pristine condition. Can you fix this? I need it by this afternoon. Look, first one's on the ass. What absolute kings these two are. Already my favourite characters. Look, he's literally just sticking the hands back on, like I said. Meanwhile, the adults search for Tracy, who went missing at some point. Sorry, I, I missed it. She's not down here. Let me take the minivan and have a scout about. Meanwhile, on the local high street, Tracy makes a friend. Are you angry? What do you care? Kids on the street gotta look out for each other. This is Ben, an apparently homeless child, but unless they've got a washing machine in the back alleys, I'm not buying it. Where'd you get all that? What do you care? Eventually, Mike finally manages to locate his target. Target acquired. I'm big, I'm mean, I'm a muscle machine. Thanks for the chocolate. 
Man, they are rinsing this theme song. They know a bop when they hear one. Tracy, shall we do it in my office? That's one of those grown-up questions. I really think it would help if you apologised to Justine. Sorry! Tracy! What, I apologised, didn't I? Enough to make grown men tremble three streets away. You think you're so clever, Tracy Beaker. But you're not. Liar! Fun scenes all round here. Hello. Hello. Who's your friend? You can come out now. Jenny says to remind you that you still haven't apologised to Justine properly yet. Haven't I been punished enough? Let's try to kid up. Seriously, who is this kid? Don't see why she made a fuss. He's nothing special. I'd rather have a dad like that. He can't even speak English. Where did he come from? Welcome back, Tracy Beaker. It's like I've never been away. I didn't freeze frame this by the way, it just stops like this. Stand by for more of my brilliant life. Oh okay, so it looks like we're getting two episodes. Do I watch another one? Yeah, this video would be way too short otherwise. Okay, we start off with Tracy, Louise and Justine on their way back from school. Well, tough shit, little lady. The Battle of the Bands is on Thursday. We need to be ready. Hey, nice gum. Give us one. Sorry, can't. Won't have any left for myself. Mmm, delicious strawberry flavour. My favourite. Oh, look, isn't that your dad? Hey, you, give that back. Mmm, strawberry, my total favourite. I just don't know who to root for. They're both so likeable. Justine, wait! Wait, but weren't you walking this way? Come back. So, Tracy vents her frustration by hacking away at a post. Whoa, whoa, hey! Oh, Beaker, we meet again. Oh, hi, Beaker. I didn't know it was you. You should meet my mum. She lives on the edge too. We used to take whatever we wanted. We were the very classiest of master criminals. <laughs> Fucking hell, lads, crack a smile. when the odds were impossible. We'd always stick together. Wow, thanks for bringing the mood down, Trace. Of course, things changed when she left to become a porn star. Uh, Tracy, do you expect me to believe all that? Why should I care what you believe? Why are you running? Meanwhile, back at the home. This will be his late again. I know it'll cheer you up, pizza. I'll do a Joker special. A Joker special? Look, in black and white. It's in yellow, actually. Thursday, Tracy Beaker. Nice. I hate nice. Oh, they're still together. Okay. You want to see my place? You've seen mine? Okay, why not? Right, Mass Patrol. This is war. That mouse is as good as dead. Wait here while I go and get a security pass. Is that going to be a problem? For me? Ha! Huh. Nobody says no to Tracy Beaker. No. Do you understand the meaning of the word no? Of course I do. No means yes. That's a dodgy mindset, Tracy. I can't support that. Watch this. No! No violence. While the rest of the house focuses on trying to capture and kill known war criminal Stuart Little, Tracy and Ben sneak their way inside. This isn't allowed, is it? Well... Not allowed exactly. Ah, oh, food. Smells good. You want some? I'll give it yet. Just look at that. Perfect. Don't like ten people live in this house. Are they only getting one slice each? Come on! Yes! Well, hey, they've caught Stuart. Now kill him. Tracy? Hold it right there. Who's that? Tracy Beaker. No. 
Just in please. We don't jump in the snitching ground. Meanwhile, the lads stage an execution for Stuart. Long last! You could just let it go. No! Okay guys, has everyone had some pizza? Once again, one slice per child seems needlessly cruel. Tracy, what about your friend? What friend? Her boyfriend in her bedroom, of course. Tracy, tell me the truth. Is there anybody in your bedroom? No! I mean, yes. Did no one invite her to dinner? I suppose I did jump to conclusions. It's okay, wrong number. Can you shoot me after dinner? I'm starving. Probably because you only had the one slice. Well, there we have it. That was the story of Tracy Beaker. Or two stories of Tracy Beaker. I can't lie. For what it was, it was pretty good. I'm not going to rush out to buy the box set or anything, but I've seen a lot worse on this channel recently. And the rest of the British public seems to agree with me, as this is one of the longest running British children's shows of its era. Hell, this first episode aired in 2002 and the franchise is still going. We've got the story of Tracy Beaker, Tracy Beaker Returns, The Dumping Ground, My Mum Tracy Beaker, and most recently, The Beaker Girls. That's honestly impressive. So you never know. Badger me enough and I might take a look at the others. Please don't do that, I can't be asked. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today. If they're not going to end Stuart Little, then it's up to me 